Just before this video starts, I just want to quickly just cover something. Now, I've actually cut my hours down at work. I've not quit my job or anything like that, not yet. I've cut my hours down, so I've got more free time and more days to put into YouTube and into the social media. I'm gonna work on the website, trying to release some more clothing, maybe some hats and little bits like that. Just putting a lot more time and a lot more effort into the social media side. Now, what that's gonna mean as well is I'll be able to make and produce a lot more videos. So that's all also going to mean that even some things that normally that I wouldn't probably upload because it might be a shorter video or it might not be anything major I'll have time to like record edit and then upload it so a little bit what like this video is going to be is pretty much we're going somewhere to pick some parts up to quickly install them and I wasn't going to record it but obviously now I, I just thought I'd rather give you guys something to watch than nothing whatsoever now normally I'd upload Monday Wednesday and Friday, but I'm gonna try and literally just upload as much as possible uh, I know it won't be as much quality of a quantity But even if it's a five-minute video of me just I don't know just detailing my car or something and I feel like Grabbing the camera then at least it's something for you to watch now You don't have to watch all of them obviously But it's just like I said just something for you to watch and I enjoy making videos I enjoy producing and editing the videos so it works in everyone's favor It gives you something to watch and I get to do what I love doing so yeah So I just wanted to go over that and if you do see a video that's like five minutes long Don't think that I'm slacking or anything like that It's just kind of like a filler video in the meantime while I'm editing uh, probably a bigger video So yeah, let's get into today's video I just wanted to let you guys know and I just want to say quickly as well. Thank you so much for putting me in this position that I'm able to do this it, honestly I wake up every morning as thankful as I possibly can be for the position that you guys watching my videos have put me in so yeah thank you okay what is going on guys welcome to the video I've just been on that quick rant so I'm pretty much out of breath already but today what we're doing is we're actually going to meet another youtuber now this youtuber he's actually more not as much of the modding side, but he knows a lot about right, ripping engines out. He knows pretty much everything on a K20. Uh, he had a turbo Civic. He's got an EG, I think he has now. We're going to meet him. We're going to his unit, and he has got a Honda Civic EP3 that has actually got a few carbon parts in it that he doesn't want anymore. So what we're doing today, we're going to meet him. I'll put his link down in the description. Such a sound guy. He's, um, he's giving me these for a good price as well. So we're going to go meet him, hopefully get a front upper engine mount as well which this car needs because the one that i've got in the mi at the minute has cracked a little bit i'll show you in a sec but what we're picking up today is we're getting a completely full carbon fiber center console so where this all this silver is that you see that's going to be completely carbon fiber also we're getting the door handles the literally the roughest part of this interior is this door handle here and that's being replaced so it's literally going to be like a brand new interior in here which i'm very happy about but yeah we're getting the carbon fiber door handles on both sides obviously and then something for the outside of the car so these little b pillars i think they're called obviously as you can see now they're just black we're getting these in carbon fiber as well so these are going to be coming off and the carbon fiber ones are going on really looking forward to getting these on the car no they're not an expensive performance mod but it just adds the little touch to the interior and and like i said in a few other videos it's the small things that make a big difference for me and yeah it's just something that i can add to the car while i'm saving up for the bigger mods so really looking forward to getting these on the car right i'm going to show you why i need an engine mount so as you can see this one here has got a little bit of a crack in it which means when i move the engine don't know if you can see the play in that it's moving quite a bit which under stress and when i'm going a little bit faster than i should be it's jolting the engine a little bit but tonight that's getting all sorted so yeah let's hit the road let's go see Stu. Tell me, can you see the stars? We're just running forward in the dark. Can you just want my soul needed? Got a little den down here, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Cars everywhere. <laughs> What's them lights? Because they're like. They look quite cool, you know? <laughs> I like them. That's sick. Mint, proper mint. They were like this red. Yeah. And then because it's just sat on my drive, it's gone pink. Sunburn. But they are facelift ones. Yeah. So these were the pillars I'm talking about. Fresh. Fresh. And then. And then, 
we've got the door handles and the centre dash and I'm going to take it out and learn how to take it all out. Honor. Yeah, right in there. Look at me getting my hands dirty. He's a legend, him. Just teach me how to do all the shit. That's the thing, he's got the balls to just go for it and not be scared of getting it wrong and breaking something, whereas I haven't. I'm just scared of breaking stuff. That's where I go wrong. Which is why I brought the project car, oh, so I can just fuck it up. <laughs> um, yeah. And then give it a great big yank. Nice little yank. Yeah, it's just gonna be, should glue them together. There you go. Voila. Voila. Right, Voila. I'll put the cameras down, Sam, grab these. So he's actually still got the engine for this car with the hole in it, so I'm gonna go show you. So here's the engine that was. This was the turbo one. Look at that. That's fine, man. That's fine, yeah, crank it up, be fine. Nothing that a bit of, uh, Evo stick. <laughs> that a bit of uh, duct tape can't see. Small steel, yeah. <laughs> Mad. He thinks gold. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> you, can get, you can get them on though. Well, that worked. There we go. That was simple. Oh, it's the little, it's the little bits, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> they look mint. They look, they look mint. I love that. Just sets it up. Look at her. Go on. <laughs> nice meeting you both. I'll probably nip down soon. Yeah. Learn some See stuff. You, uh, and shit like yeah, yeah. I'll be at the tag meets. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, meeting you. nice meeting you both. Appreciate it. Next time, so you can get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the console uh, tonight. I'm looking gorgeous in the side. Can you just redo that little bit? Absolute sound, guys. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna hopefully come down again sometime and like learn some learn some bits, and he's gonna teach me more about the mechanical side, etc., etc., which will be good. But I think I might do the console tomorrow when it's light. I'll see, I might end up just doing it tonight. We'll see what happens. So it's the next day and I'm gonna be putting all the carbon fibre parts on. Now last night, as you saw, we did the door handles, which were really easy, literally just clip on, clip off, and they look so much better than what they used to. Oh, it's made such a difference, I love it. And then this morning, I didn't do it on camera because I wasn't sure how to do it, but it's pretty simple, I'm going to explain it. I put the pillars on, which look, oh, look at them, man. So literally, what, how you put these in is under here, there's a little tab. I don't know if you can see that. You want to pull this rubber off the tab, which will reveal a little screw under there. Take that screw out, pull your old ones off, snap them back in, and you're done. Literally, that's why I didn't film it, because it's really easy. But... Now on to the best part, which is the center console. This is gonna look absolutely insane. I can't wait to get this in. Gotta get that one out first, put this one in, and we'll see what it looks like. So this is what the handle looked like before, and oh, what a difference that's made. Okay, so to take this console out, I'm pretty sure you gotta get your hands under here and pull. this all out. Let me just set the camera down. Okay, now to take this part off, you're gonna have to unscrew your boot off. And there's, I think there's four screws around here. One, two, uh, oh no, there's three, three down there. Okay, so when we took it off Stu's car, he had two screws somewhere under here, but I can't actually see them in mine, so I'm assuming that the only two screws I've got are these two here, so I'm going to take them out and hopefully this top bit comes off. Okay, so once your radio's out, we had a few more wires. Which was a pain in the ass. It was a pain in the ass because I've got the, obviously, screen in there, but you'll most likely not have a screen. But once you've got all that out, literally just take all the components and swap them over to the carbon fibre one, and it's as simple as that. So I swapped them all over and it's literally just a matter now of lining everything up, plugging everything back in, which I'm not going to record because it's just a ball ache, and then clipping it all back in and I'll show you what it looks like after. We're going to have a fiddle around, hopefully get it all to work and put everything back. We've got thousands of parts everywhere and then I'll update you when it's in. So the console's all in now and here is the finishing result.
so I'm really happy with how they turned out. Like honestly, it made, it's made such a difference to the interior. I mean, even when I'm driving, you can actually see the B pillars in your wing mirror. So literally from where I'm sat, you can see each and every part that I bought in carbon fiber. And it's just made a complete difference to how the car feels. Obviously on the inside, everything that I look at now just feels aftermarket. Obviously you've got the steering wheel, the gear knob, and obviously all the carbon fiber bits now. And it just looks amazing. I'm really happy with them. I just want to give a quick shout out to Stu. I'll put his link for his YouTube and Instagram and stuff in the description. Such a nice guy. I'm hopefully going to be filming a few bits back at his unit. He's going to help me and teach me a few things about working on the engine, etc., with these cars, which I really appreciate him taking his time out to actually do that for me. So, yeah, go drop him a subscribe, go drop him a follow. Really nice guy. Also, Sam as well, his mate. Both great guys. Can't wait to actually get up there and start learning some bits. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.